Hey guys, good morning. Um, the equations we're going to look at is solving with substitution. Um, so I wrote two equations already. y equals 2x plus 1 and 3x plus y equals negative 9. And the way we solve equations with substitution is we're just going to be plugging in one of the equations into the other. Um, and what we want to do is isolate either the y or the x. And in this case, it's already isolated for us in one of them. We have y equals 2x plus 1. So what we're going to do is plug it in this part, what y equals, into the y here. So we'd rewrite it as 3x plus 2x plus 1, because we replaced y, equals negative 9. And then we're going to combine like terms. move the one to the other side and get 5x equals negative 10 then divide by 5 and get x equals negative 2. So now that we have x equals negative 2 to get our y we're just going to plug this negative 2 in for x to either of the first equation or the second equation um, and we'd get the same y. So we're just going to plug it into the first one And we're going to get y equals negative 3. So then where these two lines would cross is negative 2, negative 3. And the nice thing about this being recorded is you could slow it down and pause it if it moves too fast. But these ones are easy if we have a y or an x by themselves. Um, now we're going to look at one if the equation doesn't have the variable by itself. Um, we're going to look to isolate it and then solve it. So let me go ahead and erase this and then write another. So if we have the equation x plus 2y equals 6 and 3x minus 4y equals, I don't know, let's use 28. Well, now we have to get one of these by themselves. And the easiest one is probably the first equation because we have x without a number attached to it, no coefficient attached to the x. Um, so I'm going to move the 2y over to the other side to get x by itself by subtracting it. And now I can plug this portion in for my x right there. So then I can rewrite it as 3 times 6 minus 2y equals, oops, sorry, minus 4y equals 28. So we're going to go ahead and distribute. Combine like terms. Move 18 to the other side. Negative 10y equals 10. Divide by negative 10. We get y equals negative 1. And now that we have y is negative 1, you just have to plug it into either of the first two equations to get our x. So I'm going to plug it in to the first one and get x plus 2 times negative 1 x minus 2 equals 6 plus 2 and get x equals 8. And then what we would have is 8 negative 1 would be the point where these two lines would cross, and that's our solution for them. All right, so this is how to solve these with substitution. Um, we're going to start today with only five problems, and if you get confused or you still don't understand it off this video, 
I'll be available on Zoom um, around noon. So if you want to conference with me, you can. I'll put the link on Canvas so that way you guys could see it. Hopefully you guys had a great spring break and we're gearing up to go for another week of e-learning. Thanks guys.